Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2, ladies and gentlemen. Onward once again. Though all the world's horrors bar the way. We've got the leper, Guinea Anubis. The runaway, Shadowhawk. Uranus, our jester, which he's hilarious, isn't he? Making that joke. An impressive haul. Put it to good use. Nice. A very impressive haul, actually. If only range damage mattered at all. And of course, the Great Jug is our occultist. I'm gonna throw these healing salves on immediately. Instantly. I'm gonna go for the, uh... I mean, he's got a ranged attack, right? Yeah, there we go. The Abyssal Artillery, sure. Go with that. And then he'll go ahead and have some resistance, too. Why not? Oh, snap. That's me. Don't get me killed. It was you who found the cipher. I'll do my best. hastily in the decaying margins of some long-forgotten tome. Scribbled. In blood. In blood! Each of us plays our part. Harmony. And not solo. Scavenge what you can. And be off once more. Let's do it. I think the pole is ranged as well. Well, there we go. Hold on a sec. There's a way to tell, right? Shouldn't there be a symbol of some kind? What if I hold alt? No? Hmm. Probably in combat, I guess, yeah. Hold alt didn't do it either there, I guess. I know to try that trick now, at least. I don't know how the often we find no stuff in the leaves. Welcomes you with open arms. Seems like it's an uncommon occurrence. You see, even your valley is not immune to the spreading stain. Is it harder to build relationships, or do they not help each other as much with the new patch concerning relationships? Uh, I can't really speak to it yet. This is my first run post-patch, so we'll see, I guess. I'm assuming that, uh... Oh my goodness. It just occurred to me, yeah, of course he's not going to be able to do that in that spot. Normally he'd be fine hitting stuff in the back line, being able to use a, a artillery and pull, but... Yeah, I might want to put him in spot three for a little while, but let's see. Hold on. He's got razors with fade to black. I mean, he could swap back and forth with the jester. That's probably not a bad idea. Weaken and curse at the moment, unfortunately. He's not doing this a lot of good. Oh, I got to look at his animations too, man. God, I keep forgetting that. That one was pretty cool already. I like that. Steady yourself. Wow. I got four stress from that attack. This is basically the tutorial zombie. That kind of sucked. Alright, Jester. Finish him off. There you go, buddy. Well, Alright, I already got a pip there. Pretty helpful. Get him! A righteous action. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. By confronting the past, we learn to face the future. All right. Decent combat items to begin with. Push on to the inn. Rest and resupply await you. There you go. Let's do it. Get that occultist in full 3D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to remember to uh, showcase those animations in the next combat here. I'm sure we'll get an opportunity soon. Yeah, pretty much just the jester for the stress there relief. Yet places such as this, where a little light still gathers. Doo -doo. Gotta rename the stagecoach too. Get to pick me in. P I C K M E. Planning and mindfulness, as vital to survival as sharpened steel. If you've already done it, don't worry about it. We already got your name in the pool. Otherwise, go ahead and type P I C K M E right now. We're gonna rename the stagecoach. An improvement. After someone in chat. 
Now let's take a pick at, or take a peek at the occultist upgrades and see how those look. This is going to be heals zero to fifty percent, lowers the bleed but doesn't lower the chance of bleed. Now that's a big upgrade. That is that is helpful. It's not as good as I was hoping it would be, but it is still meaningful. Almost meaningful enough for me to want to take it. Got limited uses. It doesn't have a cooldown, so that's really nice. You might have, you might have something a little bit better though. Oh man, demons pull plus chop equals win. Okay, just figured that out. Cool. Let's just do that. <laughs> Seems good. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. Let's give it a go. On the Lermacto. All aboard the Lermacto. Here we go. One learns quickly when survival demands it. And do we have enough to provision? Ooh, we got a noisemaker. That's pretty good. As I mentioned when I uh, saw it on unlock, that's actually not bad at all. Especially with a leper. I'll take it. Give it a go. Give him this. Actually, I should probably put it on one of the faster people. Let's give it to you. That works. What's this? High chance of strong positive affinity. Low chance of strong negative affinity. Try it. Who do we want to make fall in love? By reading a book together. Now, if that's really what they're going to do, I feel like those chances should probably be flip-flopped. Do we ship the Leopard-Jester combo again? Amorous Ballads. I mean, I feel like the Jester is basically required in the combo. I've seen a lot of Jester-Leper love. Let's go! Well, Instant amorosity! Desire will never die. I don't think that's a word, but I'm gonna pretend it is. I'm not even gonna look it up. Let's just act like it is. Let's go, baby! Ceremonial drum. Uh, purge negative quirk. Or just relieve stress. That's also good. I guess books are okay now. I guess I'm pro books. Hmm. Well, all right then. Let's hit it. Ooh, 500 hope. No more than one resistance encounter. This is awesome, hell yeah. Mud and rain. Resignation and death. Let's go. This land is truly barren. Barren, he knew. He knew. Back to the tangle. War rewards only resignation. Yo, it's a real word. Let's go. Big win. All right, so right here is a great situation for me to reduce stress on the leper. But also, I'm thinking to myself, leper stress isn't that big of a deal. In fact, leper stress is manageable. More manageable than anybody else's. And I can go watchtower. So let's go right. And that way I don't add stress to the jester whose stress is less manageable. So that makes perfect sense to me. Got some, uh... Oh, those are nice, actually. Those are good combat items for the, uh... For the leper. Go ahead and throw those on someone, too. Although, having all the healing selves right now is really nice. Actually, I'm pretty happy with what I've got, but... I suppose that's probably better. Although, with the combo, I suppose those are less necessary. Still good, though. It's a cash! That's pretty fantastic. The Wainwright awaits, eager to ply his trade. Produces bandages and nets. That's really good. Okay, cool. Really nice. Myriad options require careful deliberation. I feel strongly we should go to the Watchtower. Having that information is really good. 
Not as cool as flatjacks, but still pretty dope. Pinballing again. All right, time to get comfy. How you doing, buddy? Ready to chop shit up? Oh, you got two levels of blind, huh? Let's fix that up. Let's see how our first pole attempt does against a dude with very little move resistance. That'll work pretty well. Kinda like Noisemaker right away, actually. Let's do it. And, uh... Yeah, probably burn through the guard. Literally. Slice him off? Sure. This game is very pretty. Absolutely. Alright. The Occultist. The Great Jug. There's our boy. Let's see what these animations look like. Abyssal Artillery. Ooh, okay. Prep work. Weakening Curse. Ooh, the floating... The floating bong. The floating skull bong. The demon's pull. Yep, of course. And then I could take a couple guesses what the sacrificial stab looks like. Let's try the pull. Totally worked. Steady yourself. Oh god, that's that's already not ideal. Oh well. Okay, that's better. Thank you. Early hero power rankings. I had Hellion top in DD1. Early hero power rankings. Extremely early hero power rankings. Let's go for it, alright? Starting with just what I've got in my group right now. Leper S tier. Leper League of His Own so far. Godly. Can solo teams by himself. Uh, Plague Doctor shortly underneath that. Plague Doctor is maybe like a half tier below Leper for me. We're gonna go with a Weakening Curse. We're gonna go with... Let's see. Hmm. Jester's pretty good. But weak. Vulnerable. But also contributes a lot. Oh, that, that, that takes away combo, doesn't it? Okay, no, we're good, we're good. An unavoidable end. Grave Robber's up there. Grave Robber with the self-heal, with good damage, DOT. Grave Robber's up there. Did he just remove his own combo? What a bitch. That's what you get. That's what you get for not letting me combo you properly. Ooh, we get to do a weird, uh, weird reconstruction for the first time. Let's see it. Ah, uh, boy. Um, well, I guess I still need to do that. Y'all already got tier lists? We're saying it's very early. Very, very early tier lists, but tier lists all the same. I'll go ahead and pop a reflection there. That feels good. And you're dead. Not quite. Let's just finish him off. And now we get to see what this looks like. I think that's the same... Yeah, all right. I'll allow it. Okay, that was terrible. As a crit heal, that, that's real bad. Not very helpful at all. Crit heal for seven, bled him for nine. Let's hopefully do it again and not stack it this time. Okay, healed for one. Didn't bleed him, at least. Healed his buddy. All right, that's fair. Well, healed his lover. Let's not beat around the bush about it there. I guess... This is just going to have to be the leper using a withstand here to keep the attention off of him for a bit. All right, let's hope the last use of weird reconstruction actually ends up with a positive result. That would certainly be nice. We got one round to kill this dude, too, so hopefully we can manage that. No need to heal. Oh my god. 
I love the way it, like, shatters the skill. That's so satisfying. Uh, I'm just gonna go for that, I guess. Good enough. And, well, I can't do any of those, so... Whatever. I want to try to heal one more time. I hope it works. That looks good. Okay, totally worth it. Nice. I mean, keep in mind that bleed doesn't carry over. In some of these well-worn relics. Trinket's not useless, I guess. Throw that on you. Well, probably not you. Let's do it on the jester. Pretty unlikely to be on death's door at any time. Bear is basically completely abandoned poor Dismas. So, I mean, that's pretty par for the course for me, isn't it? Bear ignoring the highwayman. Name a more predictable outcome. That's probably a class I could probably utilize a little better still. And lament. In both games, honestly. There we go. The watchtower might be... A little less valuable than I think at the moment, but for now I'm happy to happy to go for that. They're missing a shrine. Oh god damn it! Did I miss one? Okay, no, you got me worried. Now I'm gonna look for it. <laughs> there it is. All right, we gotta go left. Yeah, I want to get those, dude. I don't want to miss too many of those. I have no idea, Tree Beard, I couldn't tell you. Well, we know this is a good start. I love the way that that animation concludes, too. That's so nice. Um, suppose it would still be nice to do that, but I could probably wait until next turn as well. Let's go ahead and start some damage here. Yeah, we got a time limit on this one as well, so we gotta be a little quicker. Bring jamming! Here's the prime. And my laser. Over the pile as well, appreciate it. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Welcome. That's teamwork, baby. Thanks for the bear hugs, hope you're doing well. Appreciate the support. Any DOT is gonna be a little concerning. Combined with a combo. Mm-hmm. Four stress. All right. Well, we still like this. Oof. That's okay. That's, I'd rather you do that on him. Definitely don't like this situation. I thought I'd more or less guarantee the leper kill. Can't quite inspiring tune. So we'll just go ahead and see if we can finish that guy off as well. Hey, there we go. Good stuff. Amazing. The smallest variable can make all the difference. Goodbye. One less obstacle in our path. All right, come on, buddy. Oh no. Oh, it's below 30. No, wait. Yeah, it's below 33%. I forgot. Shit. Well, that's still pretty good, actually. Turns out weakening curse is fairly useful. Cool. Hey, it can finally inspiring too. Might actually upgrade that too, considering he's the only stress healing we have. Probably not a bad idea. Oh, I definitely should have used the um, the linens on my leper here. I think we got fairly lucky. That's good. She's really weak. All right. Well, that sucks. Another impediment cleared with impunity. Hey, that'll help. Thank you. I will happily take any damage bonus on this big boy. Very nice. Nice. Or a blind. Both pretty good. I like the lepers a little more. 
Haven't used Sack Dagger yet. No, I gotta... I gotta find out how that looks. This seems like a great way to clear these two dodges and also shows us this move. Fun. Oh, also I probably should have healed. Yeah, in hindsight, that was kind of dumb. Risk bedevilment. Let's see. Hmm. That was lucky. Very fortunate. Do, 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 do. No blind here. Seems smart. Ah, oh, man. It's got five HP, right? Yeah, crap. I think I'm gonna go ahead and run and hide here. Kinda worried about the uh, runaways HP right now. Okay. That was convenient, I guess. Not too bad. Weakened, though. Unfortunate. All right. Here we go. Roll the dice. <laughs> ah, I don't like him. I don't like the occultist. I don't like the occultist very much so far. Not very good. Bleeds too much. Too much bleed. Way too much bleed. Emboldened. Yeah, this is much worse than the DD1 occultist, dude. This is just borderline unusable. That is awful. All right, you're already dead. Let's clear a dodge. If you upgrade that move, does it lower the bleed chance? Nope. It just lowers the bleed amount, which is better, but still sucks. Uh, you. Yeah, at least I got a taunt. The slow suffering mm. begins. Anxiety thanks for 34. I haven't seen a single dungeon, let alone a dark one. Yeah, this is uh, this is getting this is getting to be. The work continues. The work of a liar, it turns out. How dare they? Excellent work. It's too bad you're gonna miss your crit if only the blinded landed. God damn it. Um. A coldest first F tier hero. Not quite. Not quite. Uh, that's not gonna do a lot for me, honestly. Let's just do this. <laughs> Gotta get through these weakened hits. Steady yourself. Anjay, thank you. Appreciate it. This is bad. This is bad. Pull is a very good move. Yeah, we should give him credit for that. <laughs> I really like that part, though, at least. God damn, that bleed's gonna kill us, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Holy hell. It's a lot of damage. This thing still got two dodges. Still have a weekend to get through. Oh boy. Better go ahead and heal again. A little help impeccably timed. The occultist is killing the team more than the monsters. Kinda feels like that. Oh my god. Gotta try to get this one at least. Gotta use that. Yeah, gotta use that. A little help impeccably timed. Okay, that worked fairly well. That's good. Gotta do that, I guess. That'll help. 
Steady yourself. All right, let's get a seven bleed. It's pretty bad. Seven stress. It's getting up there. He's got a blind too. We gotta go ahead and do that. Makes sense. All right, good. Can make all the difference. One dead at least. Curse, I guess, is pretty good. I should probably try this, though. Especially because it clears the corpse at least, if nothing else. And maybe just be able to kill this guy, yeah. Alright, good enough. Down to the last one. Armor, right, thanks for the gifted. Appreciate it. Welcome to the bear pile. Let's get some subscription and some books. Be able to get him below five here. But effective. Solemnity is probably the way to go, actually. Okay. Weakening curse. Resisted it. Time to run and hide. Although smoke screen might be better, actually. Just unlucky, man. This thing's debuff resistance isn't even that high. Alright, try one more time, I think. Really try one more time here to get this debuff to land. Thank god, okay, that's good. Whew. Thank you, blind. God damn. One more salve, I guess. No help. Play another tune, maybe? No, not quite. Hey, that's good. Thank you. Here, let's give him an inspiring tune for his sacrificial dagger. That sounds like fun. Oh, and then just totally eliminate any possibility for her to help. Yep, good call, Bear. Well played. Now we get to see this, at least. Oh, fun. That's a big knife. Now that's a knife! Ooh, very An good. An interminable conflict. Very good, I like it. In All right. crisis, no gain is insignificant. Hot freaking damn, dude. Wow. Okay. Dark impulse. The loathing abates. We have a dark impulse. Well then. By all means. Let's add 40% health to the leper. Shall we? From 59 to 83. That's a lot. It's a lot. All right. Let's go. Consider all variables, but I'll oh, field hospital. Quickly. Field hospital, no question. If you hope to heal, you have chosen wisely. But you have to go through this quick little road battle first. Slow suffering begins. Well, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and heal for 30. No, how about 40? How's that sound? A slow dissection. Mm -hmm. An unavoidable end. It's pretty good. 
Just gonna run and hide. Because I'm terrified. And time to heal. A little help, impeccably timed. Alright, that was pretty good. Not an issue. Have at him, buddy. One dead. OTP. guy. Yeah. The other dude was blinded. So he's already less impactful. Thankfully that's not a knockback. She is still very low. Still very concerning. No luck on the blind. Alright. Hmm. I don't mind smoke screening again. Go with uh, abyssal artillery, maybe. Hey, there we go. I'm not gonna waste a turn on another weird reconstruction here. Hey, nice. Large. God damn. All right, he's dead. No, that's what I said. Yeah. Good shit. Yeah, that definitely seems like the way to go there. Sure. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Ow. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. A trivial worryment. Very much so. Sure. And now is definitely time for this. Oh, damn. Okay. He wasn't even waiting for the leopard chop. Ooh. The means of mastery. He's just a damage dealer, isn't he? Hold on, we need to just... Yeah, no, maybe he's just not a healer at all. He's got a healing move, sure. But this dude might just be like a backline killer. Maybe that's what I need to use him as. Let's try it. She understands the futility of her work, but undertakes it nonetheless. And thanks to the leper's self heal, all of a sudden this is much cheaper, so we'll go ahead and grab that. Hmm. So here, is there anything here I really need to get rid of? Apparently she got rid of her negative work. Well, those seem that bad. I guess sprained wrist kind of sucks. Lodden up would be a very good idea. I think we probably just heal eight on everybody. Well, no, let's just heal the max for her. Heal the max. Well. Heal the max. And then just buy laudanum. them. The odds of illness are high. Best to be prepared. And one more heal. There we go. Cool. Alright. That'll work. Laudanum. And Let's actually just stack these two together. Put the herbs on the leper. There we go. That'll work. Might as well add move resist to someone. Cool. Glad to have you, Linus. Things are pretty good here. Stress is a little high, but it's kind of to be expected considering we're not really able to deal with it as well as we could before. Hell yeah, Mystic! Nice! Well done. Big dubs. 
A little help, huh? You must okay. be strong enough to shoulder more than your share of the burden. 56 torch light. Of course we're gonna do this. Leper, don't be so selfish. Come on now. No gain is insignificant. Come on, tell me you didn't want four healing salves, buddy. What's the matter with you? That's a trade we make every day. Lunatic. There we go. The healing salves have already been the hard carry for this one. I think the lot going to be pretty important here, too. Smash! If you could pick any character from the previous game to return in early access next, who would it be? They stand guard even now. Deathless and dreaming. How master. I want to see a 3D animated dog. I want to see him get little scratches on his head and he goes, ah, my good boy. Please and thank you, Red Hook. Um... Let's see. I like the withstand start. Go ahead and do that. Although the chop makes sense. Certainly when it does that, yep. Laudanum? Laudanum. There is comfort in company. And we're gonna go ahead and, oh, she has taunt. That's very bad. Oh no. Well, we're gonna go ahead and do that then and see. No. Let's do that. Killing this guy first is not the worst thing in the world. There is comfort in company. Plus we can do this. Oh, does he have move resist? He might have move resist. I should have done with Stan then. Yeah, you can't move this guy at all. Neither can this... Or none of these guys can be moved. What the hell? Okay. Whoops. My fault. Um... Ooh. Oh, is this... It's because of the drummer? There's no visual indicator of that, though. Jester. Oh, it's this. Ah, there it is. There is a visual indicator. All right. Just pay attention. Well, we know we still got the move or the death door, so this is for the best. Still pretty good with abyssal artillery here, although that is going to be a repost on the occultist that's probably not welcome. What if we did this instead? Look at my trigger. No, it doesn't, but weakening him is pretty good. And I still really like withstand here. Cooperation is the key. I wonder what double taunt does. Probably just allows them to choose between the two, I would assume. Oh my god, he still lived, huh? I suppose we're gonna have to make it happen eventually. God, that hurts. Oh, the bleed, the boot. Okay, yeah, I don't know about that, man. There is comfort in company. I don't know about that. in our path. And I will... Chop, I guess. That's fine, yeah. Alright. Oof. The slow suffering Goodness. Begins. This is a timed one. God damn it, man. Well, I guess if I can kill this guy, this dude will self-destruct, so... Maybe it's a possibility. 
A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Yeah, the runaway's primary strength is just fire DOT. Otherwise, she's a bit weak, unfortunately. I really need to be withstanding as often as I can. Ah, that just sucks. So that is the move resist, I see. Yeah, this is beginning to seem like an unsalvageable situation. I think I just need to get out of here in as good a shape as I can be, so let's just make this well. Crit, maybe? Alright. That helps a little bit, at least. I can at least do this one more time. Yeah, I might be able to get away with a... Another decent occultist heal here, we'll see certainly try it. Pretty good. I'm going to use a Solemnity, even though that won't be the HP heal. I'm just going to do that for the stress relief. There we go. Oh, come on. Can't even get the dodge to work. Oh, well. We survived. That's what we expected. I think she gets better when you have a few unlocks with her. I've gotten two unlocked abilities with her, and she's been a lot of fun. I'll have to pay more attention to that in the next thing, I guess. Resigned to the end of things. They waited for death. And still, they wait. Certainly don't have the relics for this anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, we're well, having just visited one. I don't expect we'll be able to take advantage of this at all. Oh, well. We do have two more salves I should probably go ahead and equip. Did I actually use? I didn't use any of them, did I? Oh shit. Well, never mind. Probably used one. Okay, we want to go to the bell, which is on the left, so we can go either the left or the middle. I'm gonna go to the middle just so we can go on an Destiny easier path. Will not be denied. I would much rather not go for another combat on the road here. Yeah, I really like the hero shrines. They've been really fun. I want to try the runaway second mission, maybe, just to see if hopefully it gets a little more interesting than that first pickpocketing one, though. It was a little boring. It just got a little tedious. Emptiness and dissolution have wormed their way into the world. We ain't fighting, apparently. All right. Abandoned fine with me. Or forgotten. It is ours now. Totally fine with me. Time for the Hero Shrine! Let's go! Hell yeah. Well, Stress Relief, too. Nice. Yeah, that's what I've been most excited about for sure, Newest Mutant, is like the unique battles that these have been presenting. It's really fun for the most part. Alright, here we go. Oh, we haven't done the Occultist yet, of course. Let's see what his first mission is. Few minds are ready for the other planes. Occultist. Chapter 1. The Ritual. On certain portentous evenings, carefully selected for their astrological potency, Great sentence. he would gather his devotees around the ancient onyx table, and joining hands with them, would send his spirit out into the void. Safely tethered by their vital energies, he was free to wander the outer spheres in search of some dark communion and impossible power. Ooh. What did he find? Are you gonna show me? Nah, that's fine, I guess. Oh, he doesn't look any different. I guess he's always been that age. Vulnerability Hex. Target receives vulnerability, removes dodge. That's pretty good, actually. I'll probably use that over the Weakening Hex. We can especially use that against, like, the cherubs and things like that. 
Let's try it out. Ignores dodge. Yeah, that's really great. Cool. Okay. Give that a go. Let's see. Um, assistance encounter is probably the way to go here. We just need to make sure that... Yeah, okay, we're good. Is futility itself. I feel pretty good about going double assistance here just to get the torch light back up. Not to mention three stress points, really. That was really good, too. Hospital on this run for real. Bot so far, I love it, Cam. I am really into this game. Also, apparently, hate hitting the stuff on the road. Facing oblivion, these folks have kept their honor. Have you? Yeah, I, I am. I have like a few minor gripes, but for the most part, I've been having a great time. Really enjoying this. Oh man, we are in the darkness. Holy shit! Well, we definitely need to pick something that gives us torch light. Oh boy. Oh good! Find. I thought it was a bad one. Torch light and food, thank you very much. Marine, welcome to the pile as well. Thanks for the prime. Let's go. Built on the utmost respect. Right, yeah, I think we're gonna be able to get this easily because we're hitting uh two assistance encounters that are out there. They stand guard even now. Deathless and dreaming. That's not too bad. Not too bad of an enemy team there. And you can actually move them this time, too. Or, yeah, I guess not. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's do that. That'll help a lot. And... Nice. Just gonna have to withstand to begin this one. Or reflection, I mean. Well, withstand is actually the better start. Withstand, reflect, then chop. Which, I know we're on a timer here, but... I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to bring one of these dudes at least to the front so I can chop him that way. And that way I won't have to waste the time on clearing the blind. I can at least do this. That's pretty nice. Side effects for resub. We'll come on back in. Appreciate it. Not surprising. Bear hugs if you got him. Thank you very much for the support. Ladies and gentlemen, we're halfway there. Oh, baby. So tantalizingly close. Only 1,600 subs away from a new emote slot. Wowie, we're almost there. Just on the cusp, right on the right on the edge there. Only 1,600. Only 1,600 to go. Wow. Do I do that? I don't think I do that. I think I'm fine. I think I just do this. That's probably not a good idea either. The slow suffering begins. Does that a dodge at least? Ow. Okay, ow. That hurts. How do you recruit heroes? You don't really. The only way that you'll ever get a new hero on the road after you've begun is if you have lost one and you get to an inn. That's the only time I've ever seen a replacement. Bird Bird, thanks for the gift and welcome on in. We are damn close to starting a hype train here. And coffee fingers, well there we go. That'll roll us along. Appreciate the support. Welcome to the pile, y'all. Yeah, yeah, if you lose a character at any point, it's pretty it's pretty bad. I'm starting to think I kinda just want to abyssal artillery these guys to death and let these two kill the frontliner. Excellent work. Yep, just gonna do that. Oh god, that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna probably... Oh, I can't withstand again, son of a bitch. Well, I think it's actually time to do that. And then... Okay, good. Mystic, I thought you were sick. It's like a bat signal. You can't help but, but hear and respond to. There we go. I literally never get lucky in this game, especially just then. Mister! Another 10. Thank you very much, Mystic Envoy, for the continued extreme generosity. Rolling out on a hype train here. Thank you all very much. 
Appreciate it a lot. Get on into the bear pile. Get nice and cozy and comfy. What is the creator code doing? There's a revenue share program on the Epic Store. Uh, with select titles. Darkest Dungeon 2 being among them. If you purchase Darkest Dungeon 2 on the Epic Store using my creator code, Bear Taffy, I get a kickback. Currently, it's a 5% revenue share, so I get like a dollar or something. But that adds up very fast. And I sincerely appreciate every single last person who has chosen to, done so, uh, chosen to do so. Because it has helped tremendously. Thank you. Thank you, Leon. Appreciate it a lot. Anarchy Lad with the gifted as well. Welcome to the pile. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. A little help, impeccably timed. Appreciate the support. Yes, a good heal even and a bad bleed. God damn it. You know what? Okay, the upgraded version of Weird Reconstruction, I'm realizing now, is pretty damn significant. Because the lowered bleed... Oh my god, dude. I would uh, just really just suffice to say I would certainly be prefer to be doing four damage per turn to where right now than six. But hey, I guess we can do this, but it's kind of worthless considering this is the end of the fight here. I hope I can kill this guy still. He does have zero death door resist, so I suppose if I do this and then... Oh, she can't hit the front freaking line, can she? Oh, he's already dead. I'm fine. Yeah, we're good. I got it. I'm just going to run and hide for fun. I win. The smallest variable. Hooray. Make all the difference. Four laudanum. Let's go. Thank you. All right. That'll work. Do, 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 do. What does the hype train do? It just unlocks special emotes. Mostly, it's designed to try to uh, get you to spend more money on the website. That's what a hype train is for. And on me, coincidentally. Doo -doo. The Occultist is, is a lot better on the high HP characters since the heals a percentage, but the bleed's a static number. That's a very good point, actually. Let us hope their desperation can be eased. Ugh, that's an excellent point. The Cultist Seal would be much better suited on characters like the Leper. Copy fingers! Spend more money on Bear if you say so. I certainly appreciate it. Thank you very much for that. I am more than happy taking the minus six here. The Wayne Rider waits, eager to ply his trade. That's good. That is a good coach upgrade. That helps a lot. That's going to help our inventory space. All right, cool. Yay. Hype train clearly <laughs> does the job, right? Does what it's supposed to. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you very much. I always... I, I do hope that despite the fact that I, I say thank you and that I appreciate you a lot, that you recognize that every instance of it comes with as much sincerity as I can possibly muster. I do not take for granted for a single moment how cool it is that I get to do this for a job. So thank you very much for all the support. Gargitz, thanks for the sub. Velasco, another five as well on top of the pile. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hit it. That shouldn't be too bad. Oh, this is Lair. Or wait, no, yeah, this is Lair, yeah. So, all right, well... How are we doing here? Do we feel confident enough to go three rounds? Let's find out. Here's an interesting question. If a character from Magic the Gathering was added to the game, who would you want to be added? Probably Jace. That's the first one that comes to mind. I want to see what kind of cool magic shit he can do. Or maybe like... What's the green one's name? Big, big burly dude with a, an axe. He'd be cool to see. I forgot his name, though. Garrick, yeah. Now, let's see Garrick in here. That'd be neat. I love how many people knew that right away. That's awesome. <laughs> we are among like-minded folk. Liliana would be neat, too, yeah. 
I don't think this is probably reflection time, although I guess I can just do that. Still decent. Nico <laughs> Bolas, god, yeah. You could just be a, 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 a four size, size four Nico Bolas character who's just soloing runs. Yeah, let's let's do that. Excellent work. That sounds like fun. Uh, let's see. Thank you for the hype train level five. Appreciate it, y'all. Very kind. Yeah, I mean, we should try this, right? That's got to negate. Yeah, that's got to negate a block. Okay, that makes sense. Which is still fine. Still fairly useful, I guess. Anytime he gets hit, I am thrilled. Please target him all day long. Good morning, call. Thank you for the prime. Welcome on in. Appreciate it. I guess it's time for that. You like managing his stress as much as possible. Now you're dead already. I don't need to do anything there. Really excited for the Risk of Rain 2 DLC. Did you hear about it there? I did not. Oh. That sounds intriguing. It's been a minute since I played any Risk of Rain 2, actually. So clearly that's done now, if they're putting out DLC. I didn't realize it was even finished. That's awesome. Uh, sure, we'll go with that. Let's go back and give that game a look at some point, huh? Ooh, the crit return hit. Very nice jester. Yeti, thank you for the bits. Appreciate it. Glad to have you. Uh, let's go with stand again. Ah, it's too late for that. Take this dude out. Bottom again? I don't think so. Alright, time to move on. Love seeing that. Round two, hit it. Drummer boy. Now... All right, so that is a standing buff, apparently. Anytime you've got the drummer in the party? So that kind of sucks. It's just a thing he does, I guess. So we'll definitely do this. Empowered, emboldened. Keep the focus on these frontliners up on the uh, leper here. No, I don't think they changed Death's Door at all. It's just that some enemies don't have it. And some enemies have a lot less chance of it procking. I guess so. Yeah, this ought to be pretty favorable for us, actually, considering the... Uh... Oh, God, yeah, especially if they do that. Thank you. Just doing us a whole bunch of favors, man. This ought to be more or less uh, a wash at this point. Heroes also don't lose death resist when they roll it and live. Yeah, and that's probably why a lot of people are seeing so many uh, consecutive death door successes is because just like you said, yeah, it's not actually being altered in any way. It's staying constant. More than fine with me, please and thank you. Keep it coming. He wants you to hit him. I keep trying to get on this back line, too. Missile artillery is still a good option. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Bring it on! No, not that guy. That's wrong. It's gonna be there, yep. Okay. Ah! You got goddamn plus 50 death door resist for the turn. I didn't realize that. On the taunt guy? That's a bunch of balls. Alright. 
Big old burn. No stress heals available, man. Shit. Incredible. Sick. The stand again, right? Ah, uh, it's still not available. Shit. Next turn. Next turn I'll have it. Hmm. Alright. Gotta try to kill one. Steady yourself. Problem? Alright, there we go. One down at least. Hey, very good. That helps a lot. I like it too, Rude Dude. It's working out just fine for me. This is working out. Let's see. Certainly don't need to heal him yet. Let's go with that again. Hey, well done. All right. How have you felt not having a Plague Doctor on the team? I've certainly been missing it. But I think I'm beginning to adapt to the idea of just kind of abandoning the healer role and just being a little bit more aggressive. Just trying to utilize his back line damage a little bit more effectively so he can just... You know, the best defense is a good offense, apparently, right? That's apparently what we're learning here. Um, I suppose moving you to the back never really does me any favors, does it? I gotta stop doing that. Especially when we're down to the front liners. Oh, that was a self-heal opportunity there. Effective. We get a healing salve already if we just leave now. Honestly, that's probably better. I don't even want these rewards, dude. Fuck this. I'm just gonna leave. An unexpected find. Bye. Thanks for the goodies. Yeah, that dark impulse trinket was Garbo, dude. Oh, is there a mastery point? Okay, that, yeah, that would have been a reason. I didn't think about that. That probably would have been enough. All right, noted for next time. Noted for next time. Every boss is worth a mastery point, right? Yeah, of course, okay. Sure, sure. Hmm. I definitely don't need to hang on to these. Debuff enemy death's door resist. What a strange item. I wonder how much it does it. It might actually be kind of useful. Burn salve is almost never a good thing. I think I did use a lot in them, right? No, I didn't. Wow. Huh. Well, we're right before the end here, so might as well just hang on to everything. Hopefully not get anything that I'd really prefer to have out of those piles. In fact, I should probably stop running into them so I don't get disappointed by what I don't get. Can't even avoid them properly, Jesus. All right, first in, let's do it. Rest tonight under the mountain's unblinking gaze. Sweet. Okay. Lots of quirks gained. Thanatomania for the leper. Greedy occultist. Amateur armor smith. 5% chance to add a block plus at the start of round. Very nice. The Shambler's Altar. Ah. Interesting. All right. Let's see. Chance to spawn block plus token each combat turn until next in. Wow. Let's do that on the, on the Jester, my most vulnerable target. He'll have a pretty solid chance to spawn a block plus token, I guess. That's nice. Heal 25%. Looks good here. <laughs> yeah. Pretty effective. 
Say goodbye to those. Uh, add bleed resist. Sure, why not? Chance to spawn strength token each combat turn until next end. Good lord. There's two recipients. Let's fucking go. He's robust now. This guy's the best. Increase maximum H. Oh my god. Two recipients? He's got 94 fucking health. <laughs> what the fuck? That's not a real number. <laughs> Alright, well. There you go. Oh, I've got a trinket slot too, don't I? No, I guess not. That's wild, man. That's just... I can't believe that. Spend what you can. For wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Damn, that's like... I, I remember that one. Yeah, that's a good trinket, dude. This would be a, a fantastic trinket for our leopard to have right now as well. God damn, I wish I could afford that. That would be super nice. Medicine chest is pretty good too, actually. Storage trunk is good. I'll probably go ahead and try to grab another stress heal if I can. Oh my fucking god, never mind. I'm buying that immediately. Yep. Here you go. A childish weapon for immature minds. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. Bear trap. I mean, I feel obligated. There you go. Yeah, right. Yeah, I gotta remember to equip that, Robin. Or to keep that equipped, I should say. Keep the misstep on him. Okay. Anyway. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. Some really solid upgrades for the stagecoach here in the form of the work table loom and the strong box. Be really nice for us. Learn what can be taught. That you may stand just a little taller at the end. I feel I should do this. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And then let's have a look at the runaways upgrades and see if there's anything that's really worthwhile. Now, combo is something we're going to be working with. That actually makes that ability pretty damn good. Where it was already pretty good to begin with. Six burn on a combo is nice. Similar situation there. Target would be comboed off the smoke screen if we were to upgrade that. Adds two blind and a vulnerable. That's pretty good. That actually works really well. Hmm. Firefly plus Abyssal Artillery combo is not a... Does Ab Abyssal doesn't do a combo, does it? It's got a 25% chance to combo upgrade it. Wow. Huh. That's interesting. Uh, I kind of like smoke screen. Seems pretty good. Hmm. Doo, 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 doo. I really like this song, man. And it was important that this particular song be really, really good. Because we'll be hearing it a lot. And boy, howdy. Did he do the job well. Yeah, this stress heal is kind of tempting too, especially because it removes horror. Might not be a bad idea. I just really want to try to make her a bit more effective. So I'm feeling pretty strongly like I ought to do either one of these two, and I think it might be Smokescreen. Oh, 
Okay. Let's try that. Although that... Oh, actually, that's got a cooldown. You know what? Never mind. Hold on. We're going to do this. I don't like that just because it's got a cooldown. I do want to do this as well. Mostly to reduce the bleed, to be honest with you. The variance in the... Uh, or, like, the increased percentage value is less important to me than just reducing the bleed possible. So let's do that. Three mastery points with the Spelunk. Clear out the lair. Lower death's door resistance in the sprawl. Oh, boy. Another nameless city. Another inferno of mutilation and madness. All right. Suppose we're ready. Let's go. Journey onward. Bear, which zone is the most hostile or dangerous to you? Bar the last one, of course. I'm honestly not sure yet. The sluice was horrible. Behold. The great cities of man. Ruined. And aflame. Made the absolutely horrible decision to go into the sluice fairly recently, and that was just not good at all. Ooh, this is convenient. Thanks, game. A hero shrine right away. Sweet. Thank you. Let's go to the runaway again, see if maybe we can get a good skill unlock for her. My painful memories hid from the warmth of their love. Chapter 2. Beloved. Good fortune is a rare and wondrous thing. She straggled from place to place, drenched and hungry, until a kindly woodsman and his wife happened upon her. Childless themselves, they welcomed her into their home, where she warmed herself in the glow of their hearth and hearts. What a nice story. Certainly nothing bad happens later. Well, all right then. Cauterize. Heals and removes bleed. Does require the target to be bleeding. Mm okay. Hmm. That's... Could be good. Situational. Maybe an upgraded version would be even better, but... Oh, plus the occultist, though! Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Okay, now we're talking. Huh. Yeah. That could work. I want to go ahead and... Oh, I'm definitely going to equip that over one skill, I know for sure. We're going to equip that over Hearthlight, absolutely. Because we ain't using this at all. I mean, no, I should be using Ransack, too, actually. I haven't even looked at Ransack. Let's do that. There we go. Yeah, the target needs to be bleeding to use it, so obviously synergizes fairly well with the, uh, with the Occultist. Not to mention, she can use that from the front three ranks, so yeah, this is, uh... It's looking a little better all of a sudden. Alright, we've got to go to the lair, right? Yeah, i got to clear out the lair, so... No watchtower for us, unfortunately, and I'm pretty Destiny sure... will not be denied. Pretty sure that's the only lair we've got scouted, so so be it. There we go. I haven't seen a pet yet. Kind of wondering if they're even in the game yet, but we'll see, I guess. Got a piece of bread. Stumbling and grasping. Shadows of what they once were. Frenzied. All right, let's see if we can uh, utilize our, our combo here. I want to go ahead and start stress healing right away. Combo pull. Let's get the Widow. Nice. How far into the game are you? Uh, I probably played like 20 hours or so so far already. We did like 10 hours day one, and then six day two. Sounds about right, yeah, 18 or 20 hours, something like that. So I'm a ways in. Hmm. 
Can't reach the combo, unfortunately. Somehow she managed to move all the way back. I suppose I could do that. Okay. With stance still seems fine. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Okay. Yeah, they really like to move forward, these two guys, I guess. Steady yourself. Really got to try to avoid the meltdown there. I just think we should do that. Nice. This is still good, even though we're not getting a combo result off of it. Lethality writ large. Yeah, one-shotting that guy is certainly pretty good. That's very helpful. On to the next. Oh, I highly recommend it, Baldar. It's a good time. I've been having a blast. There we go. A little healing, a crit heal even. Look at him go. Play a song for you, lover. Not a little stress, not too bad. Pop an inspiring tune on my leper. Let's see here, we gotta... Well, you're already dead, so I suppose we just do this. And you're dead, nice. That'll certainly help. Let's let the chop do the work up front, too. No, not chomp, I said chop! God damn it! variable can make all the difference. I do feel strongly I should do this. One thing I'd like to see would be personalized lines between other characters, because while I do love the interactions, I want to see specific lines shared. That would definitely be nice. I would I would very much be a fan of that as well. Yeah, why not? Flee the corpses. Summon the almighty forces into my into my flask. In this world. Wealth is worthless without purpose. Here we go. Yeah, the Demon's Bolt animation is real good. Loving the cultists. Outside of his, you know, healing, but what else is new? Yeah, that... The fact that this is the first version of the game that we're getting, like it's only gonna get better from here, it's so encouraging to me. It's so exciting. Um, yeah, all right. It works pretty well. I mean, dude, he's got good damage just on that move. Eight damage? That's... That's pretty significant. Even if it doesn't do what I intended it to do, it's still getting a lot done. Hopefully we're keeping the stress fairly well spread, which the leper's self-heal has been very helpful in that regard. That needs a little bit more, right? Yeah, so I suppose we'll have to do. Early results are encouraging. Nice. No inspiring tune yet. I really wish that was at 50 or higher instead of above 50. Even that tiny little difference would be so much better, but I suppose I understand keeping it where it's at, too. We keep it limited. Oh, I'll certainly allow it. We get to stab again. That's fun. Oh, this will give us a... I get to get his uh, unchecked power if I do that. Which I don't know if there's anything that I can utilize that with yet, but we got it, so that's fun. Okay. One shot, do it. Come on, buddy. 
Just crit him. That's still pretty goddamn good. It's a lot of damage. How about, how about another stab? That seemed good. All right. Another impediment cleared with impunity. Love it. No lot of them necessary. I'm starting to like this team a lot more. There is comfort in company. Especially considering the synergy we have now between these two. I haven't even had to use it yet. Mostly focused on the stress at this point. One less obstacle Advance. in the Advance. Advance. Absolutely. Clear out the lair. Let's go. Big heals. And we got the armor smith. Alright, going back line. Gotta get this guy first. Do not want to pull him though. Gotta realize that right away. Okay, don't do that. The slow suffering begins. Now. Do you think they'll have an endless mode like Color of Madness? Maybe. A possibility. Here's our first cauterize opportunity. There are only three uses of this per fight, but probably not a bad idea already. I kind of want to bring you to the front. Close to the front, anyway. Battle ballad, maybe? Bear trap? Yeah! I mobilized that dude. He resisted the bleed, but that still helps a little, at least. And then... Kind of like Razor's Wit, actually, too. Sure. There we go. He's got a block plus and a dodge. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that. Oopsie. Backline leper again. Classic play. No burn. Oh well. Hey, nice. Alright. So, I can do that, but is it... Yeah, no, okay, this is... Maybe better just doing this. There we go, that's better. Just a weird interaction with the immobilization on the occultist. Nice! Those stress heals have been super helpful. That's probably Abyssal Artillery time. Farvis, thank you for the subscription. Welcome back in. Miss it. Ah! Big dumb idiot. Stupid thin legs. You and your sticks. You're so cool. That's probably fine. A lot of stress on him, though. Uh, I like reflection. Works for me. Yeah, the Jester's little chortles are very amusing to me, for sure. Yeah, why not? Might as well. I don't think I've fought the Sprawl's Lair boss yet. No, I'm pretty sure this is going to be new to me. So that's exciting. Uh, I should probably go ahead and heal. That got a little better. That that got that got a little better. Oh, why'd I do that? Oops. Uh oh. That was that was a goof. Oh, what I, what am I doing? Oh no. Oh god. Ah shit. One less obstacle god in all. Damn it. Why'd I do that? Whoops. Seems fine. A little help impeccably timed. Nope, it wasn't. It wasn't fine. Hey, she can cauterize now though. And laudanum probably. Yeah, let's do that. Hey. Cool. 
wonder if he's below the threshold yet. I don't think so. I think he's still just above it. Hell yeah. There we go. Yeah, just above that. But Stan's probably fine. Cooperation is the key. Empowered. Mm. Emboldened. Yep, that's good. He's just collecting tokens over there. Colorize again. Wow, that's really good. Kinda just want to let, let him self heal though. Yeah, then I don't have to waste the cauterize, although I guess the cauterize is better than him losing a chop. So, yeah, let's do that. He is still blind, but he's probably gonna dodge off that anyway, right? Nope, it doesn't. Oh, it does, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, we're good. There's a lot of tokens spent off that one. Sick. There is comfort in company. I suppose that would have been a self-stress heal too. I didn't really consider that. Might have been more worthwhile. Well, those relationship arcs are still happening quite a bit, aren't they? Baby, baby, baby. Mm -hmm. yeah, he might still be able to do it, actually. Oh, God. Hmm. Vulnerability Hex. Yes. There we go. Because we might be able to just one-shot him with the chop now so we can't repost it. Okay. They get to go first, unfortunately, so this might be a meltdown. The slow suffering begins. Mm. The slow suffering begins. All right, that was fairly fortunate. Ah, uh, can't inspiring tune again. God damn it. Oh no. Hmm. Is it there? It is, isn't it? Yep. Well, sure. Why not? Got Horizon too, actually. Holy shit. Okay, back to full. <laughs> oh man. An interminable conflict. Yeah, he's fine. He's absolutely fine. Give it a try. Not bad. Steady Pretty bad. Yourself. Ow. All right, time to cauterize yourself. And probably lotting them. Oh, yikes. Out of cauterize. Oh, no. Probably because I haven't been dealing any damage to these guys over the last, like, three turns. It's probably causing the issue. Hey, there we go. Sick. Inspiring tune for sure. There is comfort in company. Now I gotta hope for a good roll on the seal from that man. This is risky, but I got. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we just. I mean, we're out of heals anyway, so we obviously gotta do that. Hey, that'll do. Runaway unfortunately acts first, so that's gonna be another DOT trigger, but. Uh, so be it, I guess. It must be done, right? So be it. Let's do it. The first encounter. Ooh. With the librarian. Welcome. Oh, boy. Okay. God damn it. My arch nemesis. Three stacks of books. What the hell am I going to do about this? Ah, oh, screwed. Empowered. Emboldened. Book it. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna hit the books. Cooperation is the key. I'm feeling pretty doomed already. Ugh, how's his move resistance? Yep, that's what I figured. Alright. I guess. Can you burn the books? One would certainly hope so. 
You gotta shelf this guy. Yeah. No kidding. Wasso Opper. Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the pile. Infernal Lynx. Thanks for the prime as well. Welcome on in. Appreciate it. He, uh, he took some books. He took some books. He's gonna huck him at us. <laughs> All right. That's fun. Categorize. Oh, man. That's fun. I like that. I suppose we go ahead and just try to take out a stack first, right? That seems fairly fairly logical. Um, I'm gonna salve you real fast, just a to be safe. Impeccably timed. I think an artillery is still more than acceptable. Vulnerability hex, maybe? Although I'm not really gonna be able to hit him with a lot. I wonder if I could hex these things. No, probably not. You can move these. What if I did this? Uh, it doesn't combo, though. I was hoping it would combo, but I guess that's a debuff, huh? Well, chop away. Oh, I love that it gets shorter, too. I know, I thought I thought it was only going to happen when he did it, when he grabbed the stuff from the stacks, but no, it happens as the HP gets lower. That's great. Hey, bud. What you doing? What you doing, Trevor? No. You're so good. Hello, buddy. You're so handsome. Wanna hang out? You wanna hang out? We're fighting the librarian. He's throwing books at my face. It's very dangerous. A lot of them are on fire. That doesn't seem safe, does it, buddy? Yeah, he, we probably shouldn't throw flaming books at each other, huh? Yeah, that's that's not that's not very good behavior. Oh, he's got all kinds of burn resistance. Speaking of which, yeah, that ain't gonna happen. This dude lives in the flame. He set his own stack of books on fire. Which makes sense, because then he's going to do that kind of thing. Okay. Adds a dodge. Really hates the occultist, I guess. Which is kind of fine with me. Um. Hmm. Oh, let's do this. Yeah, definitely. There we go. There's the play. Um. Oh, boy. I think I need to move her back to the front, actually. This is, uh... This is not ideal. Her being the runaway, I suppose that's not really what she wants to do, though, is it? Let's just keep burning books, I guess, then. If he wants to add stacks of flame to it, by all means, let's contribute. One down! Ah, friggin' bear optimal on the stack of books. Just gotta get through the stacks, I'm guessing, right? Let's see. Um, fade to black. I guess. No, I don't really want to move him. I'm going to keep him where he's at. But I do want to finish this thing off, so... So be it. All this for a library card. Times have changed, man. Good old armor repair kit. Let's go. That was a worrying sight. I didn't like seeing death blow on the screen for a second. Okay. Let's pop that to be safe, I think. And then... I should probably get rid of a dodge. That seems wise. Leper's chop. Just absolutely seems like it ought to go here, but then again, eh, yeah. Just keep, keep killing the books, I guess. If you don't got books to throw, he can't do much, is my interpretation, right? But we could also get rid of a dodge. And then the Jester can actually deal some damage. Cool. Oh, man, that hurts. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty low. He can be bled. It's not very likely, but it can happen. Okay. Let's go ahead and use our last salve. Help impeccably timed. Very good. I like a withstand here again. Try to keep the uh, 
try to keep the attention on the leper as best we can. Only upon each other. I'm more than happy using another salve here. Calm down, Wayne. All right, all right, there we go. The work there goes the books. And he healed himself. And ow. Okay. Honestly, I don't know why I'm surprised. I probably should have fully expected that, yeah. Now he's on fire. And now he's attacking a lot more and hitting everyone at the same time. Okay, cool. Hmm. That seems problematic. I'm blinded. I'm not gonna burn him either. Oh boy. There we go, that helps. Yeah, I'm just dead. I'm very dead. Yeah, this is clearly not how you're supposed to do this. Absolutely gonna die. Are you saying, uh, please help me God if you're saying told you for you, you're saying that you told me how this would happen? Because sh shame on you if that is the case. Two counts of shame. First of all, for telling me. Second of all, for being proud of it. I'm, it's the first time I'm fighting the goddamn boss. Don't fucking tell me how to do it. Obviously. Very obviously. Let us hope they find peace. All right. Well, that sucks. Learned an important lesson, obviously. Hope they find Learned a very important lesson. Don't destroy his books, because it makes him mad. Makes him real upset. But hey, why not prolong the inevitable, right? <laughs> Let's see if the leper can actually solo him. Why not? The slow suffering begins really test a theory here and it's 1v1 time bitch you thought you were ready you thought I was trapped in here with you oh buddy little did you know that you were right actually yeah no that's very much the case absolutely confirmed This is pretty awful. <laughs> hey, I can heal again. <laughs> Imagine this actually works. It'd be so fucking funny. Ninety-nine rounds later, yeah. The solemnity uses her out, so yeah, that's all for that one. Ow, oh, that's a bummer. There go. There goes the strength hit. Hey, we got it back, though. Nice. Knotted tug rope coming in again. Come on, buddy. One big swing. One big swing. Nice! There it is! Okay. Well done. You get two more of those in you, buddy. Well, we got a chance. Unsteady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. So many, so many backhands. So many backhands to the face. One HP remaining. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, no miracle today. All right. Very clear just how effective 94 HP is, though, obviously. Does a pretty damn good job by itself. The slow suffering begins. Just refuses to go down. Will not concede this fight. A miscalculation, perhaps. Another strength buff. Ah, there he goes. Let us hope they find peace. Son of a gun. 
the flame grow stronger. Oh well. That was Are a fun one. There is so much worse in store. Got a lot of rewards there. Book of Body Tales. Remain undeterred. Caltrips. Oh. And you will yet prevail. Interesting. Toxic Icker. Debuffs enemy resistances. Parrying Patriarch. Raider Proctorate. Yeah, that leper is a hell of a tank, man. Absolutely, huh? That was fun. Melee attacks plus 15% damage. There we go. That's pretty significant. At strength at combat start, not bad. Reduces passive traveling flame drain. Cool. Ooh, and better prices at shops. Also very good. Okay, we unlocked some good stuff there. Not too bad. All right, so here's the plan for today. We've got the greatest horror it would seem. About an hour. There's nothing at all. Until I've got to pivot over to a sponsored segment for the day. So I think that should give us just enough time. Of your denial. If we're successful. Precariously in the murky gloaming. To get to the first inn in this next you have run. Coward in your crumbling denial. Long enough. So let's go ahead and try for that. Aim for victory. The crossroads. A place. Between places. Oh my goodness. Let's see how we can do. I love the occultist runaway combo, man. I feel like there's a lot of potential there. I do want to bring the Hellion out again. Beneath bloodlust and fury, there is emptiness and shame. I feel like I haven't given the Hellion a lot of time in the sun, so let's go ahead and bring her out for a round. If I'm doing that... I'm feeling really strongly like I need to do this. Pride. More devastating than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. That seems like... That seems borderline necessary to have at least one tanky character, and it's probably not going to be the leper if it's in the second slot. So we'll probably do that. I want to try using the occultist again. And I think I might want to try the occultist in spot three. To know the abyss, one must embrace it. Now, call me crazy. Indiscriminate science stains the. Uh, go ahead, hands. please do it. But this might be okay. It's a combo we ran many, many, many times, of course. In the, in the first game. But a cultist plague doctor, that actually uh, might still be pretty damn good. Also, of course, considering there's still the combination of battlefield medicine plus weird reconstruction. Still very much in the play, or in play. It's only one damage dealer. That's definitely a concern. But if we start using the occultist like we were beginning to use the occultist at the end of that as like a backline targeter we actually have a really solid backline damage team here we've got the iron swan play grenade and the abyssal artillery along with the pole to bring anyone forward that we can't hit with that stuff or that we can't kill with that stuff it's pretty solid it's pretty good i think we'll roll with that for a while we'll see, we'll see how it goes why can i not oh that's right yeah there we go you think in a sleeping general attempt? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. For now, let's do get that pick me going. Go ahead and type P-I-C-K-M-E, all one word in chat right now. We're going to rename all four of these new party members after people in chat. We'll check in on the quirks while we're doing that and also make sure we got all the right skills equipped for everybody too. So let's go ahead and swap the weakening curse for the vulnerability hex. Man in arms is going to use stand fast again. I like that in place of rampart, I think. Or do I? Wait, is this... Now, why is this not... This doesn't allow me to select this skill for some reason. Why is that? Am I misunderstanding something there? Hmm. Pick me, I'm a fussy eater. Would be fitting, wouldn't it? Well, at any rate. We are going to swap to bleed out as well in place of the yop. When we haven't really been using all that much. And uh, let's draw these names. See who our first four are going to be today. Or our second four, I suppose. Ew. Oh. Ew. Ah. Ugh. Uh-uh. Icky. Why? Don't do that. 
Don't give her stiff knees. What the what the frick, dude? Sorry, Santa Bomb. You got stiff knees. That's a bummer. Poseidon 240. Welcome to the squad. Our, our fussy eater. Did I say 420 when it's 240? <laughs> this guy. Well, we could have we could have used you last time, although that clearly was not the way to go. We learned. What a great name for the Holtis man. Of Hazret, but I got a better one for you. X X the Dams. Welcome to the team. And finally, Astratona. Fitting name for the Plague Doctor. There we go. Keep the pick me's coming in. We'll rename the stagecoach after somebody in chat as well for now. Let's hit it. Off to the crossroads once more. The road is yours to travel. But you are not alone. This is a team that almost certainly is going to struggle in the timed fights. The flame sputters. You must give hope to get it. But in general, otherwise, I think is going to do quite well and should be surviving fairly well, too. In fact, of course, we're going to get the ounce of prevention back again. We'll have bolster here too. So happenstance, we stumbled upon the mark of some strange power invoked the world over, reflected in cultures predating mankind itself. The Iron Crown, enigmatic and ubiquitous. I haven't really paid too much attention to the zones, to be honest with you, Tim. So I couldn't tell you which ones are really more or less difficult apart from scavenge you know, what you can sluice. and be off once more being I think maybe so far the most difficult oh yeah I guess I should probably do that too oh, hold on yeah there we go okay anyway no you know what blinding gas I think we actually might go combo soon Wait, no, is blinding? Yeah, blinding's the combo, right? But it's the low chance, but still. Because she has combo stuff, I think. We'll have to look into it. Blinding Guess is also going to be best for... Um, you can feel it. The general, the if you go that way. The air. Give us an additional option for to attempt hitting the root. To attempt and fail is no shameful thing. Do, do. Oh yeah, the man at arms skill too. Even your valley is not immune to the spreading. Whoa! Thing. They added a widow. What the frick, guys? You're making it too hard here now. I'm doomed. Doomed. Three enemies. Nightmare made material. Play grenade. That'll work. Key off. The way he sheathes the dagger at the end of the stab, right? Yeah, it's so good. Although it is a little... It looks like the last part of that animation is... is, is a bit wonky. But I do like it very much. Bear just got here is the dungeon dark so far. I wouldn't know... I, I wouldn't say it's the darkest dungeon. It's definitely a dark dungeon. How much is certain? Suffering Maybe the second darkest dungeon. Yeah, that, that, that might be it. By confronting the past, 
we learn to face the future. And hey, we actually care about ranged attack buffs Push now. Push on to the inn. Rest and resupply await you. In fact, I didn't realize we had that already, too. Added max, max HP to the man-at-arms. Cool. That's pretty good. Glad to have you, Hollow. It's the darkest darkest. Yeah, that's... You got it. Oh, God, yeah, I keep forgetting. Hold on. Um, we're going to do that and that, and then we are going to equip Bello, I think, too. Right? Yeah, in place of that. Okay. Because I don't necessarily want him moving up front. There we go. I'm loving it, Stein. I like it a lot. A great the time. heart does much for the weary body. Even more, perhaps, for the restless soul. Okay. He's already a bit... worse for wear. There you go, guys. Hey, alright. Good stuff. I'm gonna hang on to this one. Chance of purging on negative quirk is nice, but I'd rather have the minus one stress guaranteed on the next in. None of these quirks are really... Well, I guess the chance of ridding us of stiff knees actually might be worth it. Can I do it? Nope. All right, well, worth a go. One learns quickly when survival demands it. I'm going to take the bolster upgrade first this Each time. improvement, a new variable in the equation of your fate. And one last pick me. To rename the stagecoach after a member of chat. Listen, practice, improve. That's pretty good. There's the sluice again. I mean, there's got to be a reason to go here, right? Oh, boy. Name of the stagecoach. Grimald. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. Congratulations. Welcome to this. Or you're the stagecoach. We welcome ourselves aboard you. This will serve well. This kind of feels like a sluice run. It might even fit the timeline perfectly because we've only got an hour left right now. Let's try it. On map. Unexplored. A risky proposition. Give it a go. Onward. Sluice is definitely harder than the other areas in our experience, but I've only been here one time. But it kicked my ass. Tread carefully and quickly. This As you can see, is swine country. A, this is swine country, and B, it's unmapped. Uncharted territory. There's our first road fight. Oh, never mind. I thought that was a road battle. Back to the Warren, though. Big buddy. We advance relentless, they'll perish. Hmm, formulas need battle testing. Not every fight is our fight, he says. This is just a straight up escape. I gotta tell you, I kinda just wanna leave, but. We also got some really good buffs right there. Yeah, let's do it. Very tempting just to not fight at all. Oh, that's not bad. Those are some nice looking tokens. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's do this. A breakthrough. Pretty good. Okay. Kill it. Great. <laughs> One dead. Um... Well, that's not going to work, so... Uh, I guess this. This is kind of helpful. They'll probably be fairly likely to disease. 
And we got three Wilbers here. All right. A miscalculation, perhaps. Yeah, figures. How the stealth works? I can't target these guys until they do something. So right now, I can't do anything, unfortunately. I'll probably just have to do that. Yep, this sucks. Uh, yeah, I can't prevention still, so whatever. Oh, I have blinding gas equipped? Oh, right, yeah, I remember now. Right, 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 right. Well, crap, that sucks. Bummer. Pardon me? Okay. What? Good lord. Bit of a difference there, right? Yeah, holy shit. Weird reconstruction has a 50% chance to bleed now. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Pretty difficult to deal with. It's kind of why we're bringing the plague doctor this time. Do, do, do. One dead. Oh, that's, oh that is the enough. Very nice. Variable can make all the difference. Okay, so don't let them crit, apparently. Is the idea here. Ever. Never, ever let them crit. Hmm. Go toe to toe. Didn't that rid us of the? I thought that rid us of the winded. Oh, is that the upgraded toe to toe? I think it's the upgraded toe to toe. Okay. Man, these guys are kind of annoying. All right. Hmm. Guess we're doing that. I gotta keep trying to reduce the stress if I can. I'm not getting lucky with that. At all. Might as well. Hey, cool. Thanks. I actually reduced stress. Nice. Not useless. So many blocks. Sadly, he wasn't the target because of the taunt, of course. Probably should have used a defender, actually. Yeah, that was a pretty stupid move. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's heal her real quick. Sweat soaked brows. Unsteady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. Get to use all my heals, at least. But sadly, the Hellion's still leaving this in terrible condition unless I get lucky with this. Nice. That'll work. One damage. Slaw, thanks for the resub. Welcome back in. Glad to hear it. But effective. Appreciate the support. Bear hugs are always welcome. Thanks for the resubscription. Welcome back to the pile. Here's an easy dubski. The loathing besters. You will fight. Wait. So that others may flee. He said that, oh wait, what is this? Huh. Okay. The pitiless stamp of cloven hooves can be heard ahead. Hey, big boy. Timed fight. Let's see, they are vulnerable to move. This artillery seems fine though. Directed. This is kind of the back line team I've been looking for, actually. Although they are light resistant, of course. Dissection. An unavoidable Ugh. Yeah, time fight with Big Boy. This is mostly going to be defensive. Although, if I can take those backliners out as early as I can, that's certainly going to help, too. Thankfully, we can still target them. 
Unless both of them skitter, in which case we're probably screwed. Gotta start bolstering soon. I wanna try to kill the backliners at least. The play grenade will do it. At least on the front one. Hopefully the back line gets the full brunt of it. Nice. Alright, one dead. I like vulnerability hex here. Get rid of that block. Maybe allow us to have a chance to kill this guy. Bleed out will certainly help a lot. Bleed him like a stuck pig. Very nice. It's gonna be uh, one turn timer on him. Block that. Very good. All right. Good stuff. Probably not gonna work out there, so let's just go ahead and go for the heal. There. Yeah, that works, I guess. A brilliant conclusion. Pretty good. I want a bolster, but I gotta go for this. At this point, I definitely need to try to kill this guy. I don't know, I don't know why I didn't bleed out again. I absolutely should just be bleeding out over and over. Didn't even occur to me. Smallest variable can make all the difference. Do, do, do. There is comfort in company. There we go. God damn. It's a lot of stress, unfortunately. Bleed. Bleed. He's so tired. Poor guy needs a nap. Sparrow, thing for the resub. We'll come on back in. Appreciate you. See ya. Animus grows in proportion to mounting pressure. It's because she's so stressed out. Oh shit! That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. Nice. Thank you. And sure. Give you the herbs. Caltrips. Caltrips. Burn cell. Alright. That's block plus. Yeah, that is wild. Really effective. We're gonna have him start using Defender a lot more right now, certainly. The pitiless stamp of cloven hooves. Oh no! Ahead. Oh, that was fast. Ah, Cruelty shit. And callousness have claimed dominion here. That's bad. Hey, three healing selves, though. Let's go. Thank you very much. All pretty good. Hmm. I want to at least build the relationship one way. I know that's going to make this testy, but it doesn't make the occultist man at arms relationship worse, at least. Plus 20% damage is pretty rough. That's going to be bad. Bleeding is going to be nice on these guys. I like artillery here. Rids us of those tokens. Play grenade also might be okay. Not as good, obviously, but it might work out. Gotta get a defender going ASAP. That's terrible. Jesus. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep doing that move. A 
little help impeccably timed. Here we go. Okay, that helps. There we go. She's in trouble. I need to start bolstering. I gotta do this, I think. That's all of them. I didn't know that. Oh, cool. I thought it was just the one. Okay. Nice, that helps. Hmm. Keep bleeding out. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Oh, for each winded token. Okay, so that does get much, much worse. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. That's more than enough bleed on this guy too, I guess, so that'll do. Weaken them. That another may finish the work. Okay, that's those two dead. That helps a lot. It's another stress point. Or not, that's good, okay. Bolster time. A little help impeccably timed. Gotta start bolstering. Huge. Very good. And again. Bummer. I like this. The Hellion do some big work here, maybe. Oh, no, 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 no. We keep bleeding. Wait. Crap. The corpse. Oh, well. That was probably a waste. It's really all about the corpse clear, man. We gotta be able to clear corpses. I guess the pole was an effective way to do that. Might have wanted to consider it. Gotta get him on death's door, at least. I suppose I can do it now. It's a little bit of damage. Clears the corpses for sure. Come on! Ah, it's because he's at six. Son of a bitch. I gotta keep trying to bolster, I think. There is comfort in company. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Still seems pretty damn good. Yep. Still working. Just shut up. Shut up, damn it. Okay, good. Hmm. God, I really wish I had ounce. Oh well. Gotta keep bolstering. There is comfort in company. That's a good roll. And there we go. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. The means of mastery, mastery point. And another minor raven's reach, which is probably not useful at all anymore, unfortunately, because I equipped them on the other two. The loathing abates. Yep. No need that. Oh well. So, I guess we're going resistance, because that seems a little easier. That seems a little easier. There are rumors these rancorous beasts have some demonic spark of otherworldly intelligence. Ugh. Can we run? Yes. I'd rather not, man, but... Uh... I got 46 relics. Torchlight's looking okay. You know what? I think... That improved their relationship, first of all, so I like that. Oh, nice. All right, well, there we go. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's couch up these guys too. Oh wait, now it's gonna trigger their vulnerable. Never mind. Definitely don't want to do that. 
guess we do this. And then that. Although I definitely, in hindsight there, should have tried to hit this guy with both of those attacks, because that was going to prevent an attack of theirs, maybe. Whoops. God, I really wish I'd upgraded Ounce now so that I could get the guaranteed swi uh, stress heal. A little help in in swine dying. sight, yeah, thank you. That is absolutely correct. I was kind of expecting that. So I suppose now I get the opportunity to defend her the Hellion, which is good. Got a block plus, thank you. Alright, just do this, I guess. It's the dodge. Not a problem. Doo -doo -doo. That's not happening, I guess. Well, crap. A bit of a waste of the vulnerability. Still decent damage, I guess. Oof. Jeez, that wasn't even a crit. That move is brutal, man. Time for the big hits. Bleed out. Goodbye. And now I really want to bolster again. Helpful. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Oh, damn. He got a block plus back from that, too. Jesus Christ. That's so good. So nutty. Excellent. Bring it down. Okay. Let's go with, uh... Well, she is winded, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Still pretty good. Oh, she... Ah, I didn't realize. Didn't realize that was... Not enough. That's alright. You're basically dead. I'll let him get one more attack off. Two damage. NBD. NBD. I'm gonna stick around for a little longer even here too. Try to get a little bit more healing done. One last bolster for the road. Maybe bring it down below 50. There is comfort in company. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Messy. But effective. Another mastery point. Okay, and another Caltro. Go ahead and equip that. I bet I can stack those, huh? Totally. Cool. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, all the animation work is just absolutely fantastic. We've been gushing about it constantly. Love it, love it, love it. I am a happy bear. And this game is nice to look at. No, no hero shrines yet this run. We've only gone into the sluice here, so... I've been presented with a ton of options. Another Warrens, what do you know? Not too surprising. A tactical retreat, he says. That's suicidal, very nice. I'm gonna get out of here, man. In crisis, no gain is insignificant. I don't need to fight every single one. At last, respite within reach. Especially because I think we might make it through the sluice this time. I am very encouraged by that possibility. Oh shit. Infectious. Lowered resistances. Absolutely gonna go for the uh the backline kill here again. Let's try this guy first, though. Because I bet this will be better. And then we can do this as well. Weaken them, that another may finish the work. And... Ooh, blinding gas, maybe? Yeah. 
It's a very good idea. I really want to keep bolstering, but I should probably just kill this guy first. I'm going to wicked hack him. And that way, I can save the bleed out for the big boy. That's ideal. Wicked hack. Nearly enough. Just needs a little bit more bleed. Ow! As slow suffering begins. Ow, oh, ow. Alright, well. Nice! The next. That's pretty sick. Okay, she's hurt. We're gonna defend that. Absolutely gonna defend that. We're gonna go ahead and plague Dr. Battlefield Medicine this as well. My weird reconstruction. Definitely gonna pull again to clear the corpse. That's gonna kill you, isn't it? Goodbye. Yikes. That hurts. Uh, I can't do predictions around here. My channel point economy is too fragile. If I start doing predictions, people are going to be ending the stream every day. Now we bolster nonstop, despite the fact that we're still on the time limit. I'm pretty sure the DOT is going to be the only way we really get this done anyway. Oh, God, do I herbs this? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I want to do that. And I really need them to clear this corpse out before her turn comes up, although I don't know if that's a possibility. I don't think I can bolster either, actually. I'm pretty sure if I want to get this done, I'm going to have to crush this guy. I might still have to defend her? No, she's still guarding. I hate that he gets to hit both of them. There's nothing I can do about that. I really wish I had ounce of prevention upgraded. God damn it. Oh well, got a bolster non-stop now. Absolutely. It's very good at least. We get the one guy off of uh, meltdown potential here. Which could be really bad right now. It's gonna be dead store at least. Try that. So bad, man. A little help impeccably timed. How can I save channel points if I always impulsively claim nice? I don't know, but nice. Problems have their solutions, even the big ones. All right. Didn't die, I guess. Really stressed out. Nice. We made it. We made it. I think. Okay. Lower your guard. Great. Soften your gaze. It is safe here. It's a little shorter, I guess. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, that's not useless. I have very few in items. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. Let's go for the whittling tools. Two times. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Boxing gloves. Um, that's pretty good. 25% blight chance. What? That's cool. Give me that. Put that on the Hellion. That's pretty neat. There you go, failures. One for you. One for you. 
Mastery training. Quickly. You know what Your we're doing. Survival demands it. You know damn well what we're doing. But now what do we spend the actual, or, or the other point on, I should say. Where does this one go? Probably to toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Allow us to bleed out over and over again. I do like that combo. Thank you for the resub. Yep, good content. Appreciate the approval as well via name. Hmm. I could still do that. Do, do, do. Hey, little bird. Birdie, birdie. Goodbye. Got to get bird cam going, dude. Baird cam. Sprawl? I think we go Tangle, right? We got to try our hand at the uh, general fight with this squad. Let's do it. Trenches and tents. The front lines of a war that was never fought. Hmm. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. I'm gonna pick up a few uh, apples and cheese. Welcome Something to ease to the rigors aisle. of the road. Donny Sparco! Thanks for the Prime as well. Welcome on into the pile. Appreciate it. Enjoy your badge and emotes. Thanks for the subscription. You're gonna grow a sick beard in November. I mean, apart from this just getting longer, this is it. This is what you get. Is this a sick beard? If so, yes. Now we're doing that. And I guess... Why not? There we go. A sick beard, of course. Onward! So... I'm a little concerned about this one time-wise. We might have to jump out of this run at a weird point, just FYI. We've got a, uh... an obligation to meet around noon War. here. Rewards only. Resignation. We'll do our best here. Ooh, Watchtower. Absolutely. Everybody wants to go Watchtower. Yeah! Sweet. The piggy fight, yeah, those were all coming from the Warrens in the Sluice. An area that we uh, didn't know a lot about. That we've now cleared for the first time, and uh, ooh, two hero shrines, sweet. It's gonna be tough to miss that. Watch me still go to the right. So yeah, we cleared the Sluice for the first time there. Curious to see what'll happen now as a result of that. mystery at the moment. The most important thing they can add to this game is cosmetic. That makes it so two, two stagecoaches pull one giant horse with a torch. And wanting. Will you rip off their earnest please? I'm sure the mod community will have that sorted out for you in due time. But that does sound fairly important, yeah. The Wainwright awaits. Very good. Eager to ply his trade. Very good. Isn't the blight chance increase on trinkets only applied to skills that already blight? You're probably right. Yeah, because that would say 25% chance on hit. Yep, you're right. Damn it, I missing I misinterpreted it. It seemed pretty damn good. It seemed a little too good to be a blue trinket, actually. Yeah, so that makes sense. Okay, so let's just do that then. It's not useless, thankfully, but yeah, it's a little worse than I thought. We can test it, sure, but that does that does make sense. That does make a lot more sense. Thanks for the gifted sub as well, Mystic. Well earned. For making us chortle. That's got to be a cache, right? 
Nice. The Wainwright awaits, eager to ply his trade. It's pretty good. Oh, we got this. This is the reward we were pursuing here. We just got it for free. Cool. All right, we, we can't use it yet, but we have it. That's good. Let's see. I'll try the spore grenade here in place of caltrips. See how that goes. We got a monkey. All right, they all want the fight. That's that's fine with me, I guess. Doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, we can still hit the hero thing, so. Okay. So we'll go right, and then straight, and then straight, and then left. So be it. Glad I chose the right combat. Would have laughed if they still got stressed from that. Best buddies! Nice and safe. Oh, I have to hit three assistance encounters in this, I just realized. But we did also get the reward already, so we don't really need to care about that, I don't think. Here we go. How's your move resist, bud? Yeah, it's pretty low. Give it a try. Sweet. Oh, here we go. Here we go, dude. Oh, it's on now. Got my upgraded ounce. Y'all are fucked. Lead out? Why not? I like the combo. Upgraded to a pound of prevention, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm, sure. Pretty good. I also love the look of the new occultist skills, yes. This stab move. It's so slick, dude. I love it. I think this is a bolster opportunity for sure, actually. Definitely a chance to remove some more stress here. While I slowly murder these fools. A brilliant conclusion. Mm-hmm. Toe-to-toe. Oh, and the taunt, of course, right? Which means I can... I can abuse the shit out of that. Oh, man, I'm really liking this team now. The taunt plus the defender on the man at arms. That's going to be really nice. Thank you, J-Darkman. Glad to hear it. Bonk. Get that defender going. Keep her from going too low here. And of course, keep in mind, he's got that 33% chance to add the block plus every time he's hit due to standard of the ninth. So yeah, he's feeling pretty good. I like this man-at-arms situation quite a bit. Now it's a prevention. That's all you need. Jade Darkman. Thanks for the prime as well. Welcome to the pile. Appreciate it. Cooperation is the key. Thanks for using the code. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. Give him some bear hugs if you got them. Appreciate the support a lot, thank you. Oh, why did I do that? I was, yeah, that was a wicked heck. Whoops. There's no reason to do that move there. Oh well. I feel nothing. <laughs> so good. Yeah, this team's looking really solid for sure. Got a real good thing going here. Second block plus, yeah, jeez, he's got, he's got a good thing. There is comfort in company. In many ways, like there's so many synergies all of a sudden. I love it. It was like three, but still, that's a lot. Ah, uh, sure. A little help, impeccably timed. Why not? And also, why not? Okay, yeah. All of a sudden, we're in great fucking shape, man. But effective. Yep. That's. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably just toss it, honestly. 
That's like a spa day for them, honestly, yeah. This was not an issue. Well fought all, indeed. That's a great bark for that. Ah, oh, hey, yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. And then immediately... Oh, she's a bit bipolar, apparently. So we're about to head to a hero shrine here. Who would you like to see the most? After the academic study, of course, and we see a shambler orb. All oh, right, yeah, this guy. Hey, give it a whirl. Why not? Squeamish. Amidst the spoils, an artifact of unparalleled power. That's pretty good. That's not bad. We'll take that. Oh, the Hellion? Some, oh, Occultist, of course. Yeah, no, we probably should go Occultist again. Oh, no, we already did the first Occultist, didn't we? Yeah, we did the first Occultist one. You can have that, buddy. Go ahead. Wait, oh, hold on a second. I misinterpreted that. Oh, this is... Whoops. I thought this was added resistances. This is going to be... Okay, so I want to put that on probably the Plague Doctor again. Or I could do the added chance for bleed out, but I don't think we actually need an addition to that. He's got... Yeah, no, that's not good, obviously. Okay, so we're not going to do that. Um... I suppose... Yeah, I guess this works. Okay. Wait. Right, yeah, no, we're good. Okay, cool. Might use if it bleeds then, too. But probably not. She's really not getting shuffled at all. She's staying in that front line pretty solidly. I don't believe anything persists between runs apart from the progress you've made uh, with hope. I think other than that, everything resets. Stumbling and grasping. Oh, and the stories, right? Yeah, the hero shrine clear. stuff. That all, that all is uh, persistent. Oh shit! I got an empty trinket slot on him. Whoops! Yeah, you're right. Oh well. Hey, we got a lot of blight potential here. Nice. Huh. Well, I definitely don't need to defend her. Bolster doesn't even seem necessary. Let's bellow. Weaken them, that another may finish the work. This is a road battle, so we got to be a little faster. Lethality writ large. Very good. Well, he's basically dead. Thankfully, I can still target him. That would have been unfortunate otherwise. I'll probably still go out to prevention here. Ah, what is that? Wow. Oof. Big oof. That sucks. Okay. Okay. Slow dissection. An unavoidable end. We need to prioritize a field hospital immediately. That's terrible. There we go. We just abandoned the path to the hospital. God damn it. Oh, man. That's not good. Okay, the corpse is out. This seems doable still. This seems winnable, at least. I probably ought to not 
take the ounce of prevention if that's going to be the case, though. Can absolutely bleed out here still, of course. I might be able to bolster. I could probably get away with that. Yeah, let's try it once. Nah, let's not. That's not wise. Every point of damage is going to matter here, probably. Steady yourself. That helps. Give me another. Very good. Bleed it out. Thank you, Tepo. Appreciate it. The cultist is tall, isn't he? Damn. Didn't even occur to me. He's a big boy. And now we do ounce. Now we do ounce because... The crush is at least going to guarantee death's door. And then we don't have to take the risk of that not actually doing a stress heal. There we go. That's better. That's the stuff. Persistence will overcome even the greatest of threats. Hey, they're rebuilding that relationship, huh? That's working out. The means of mastery. Nice. Might as well add that on the occultist now, too. Oh, wait, no. Oh, right, yeah, we can't do that. All right, so be it. Over encumbered. Get rid of that. And this, I guess. Don't need that anymore. The token that the occultist gets when he lands a kill with the stab is called, um... Crap, I just had it in my head. He chatters it's like uninterrupted power or something like that. But his prices remain fixed. Uh, it's a, an occultist unique token that enables uh, certain effects. Which is quite good. Difficult to pull off. I like this rain. Hmm. Well, none of the good stuff really here. I wouldn't mind getting a dartboard for the affinity. Maybe even a meditative token for the chance of the removal of negative quirks. That seems wise. We are out of space again, though, here, so... I think I'm gonna go ahead and hold, actually. I think I'd rather have the relics for the Provisioner. I don't need any of that stuff right now. A simple choice. At least it should be. I'm glad we're all on the same page, guys. Glad we all wanted to go to the Hero Shrine together. Stumbling and grasping. Shadows of what they once were. Oh boy. Uh oh. That's not good. Thankfully, this is a very easy fight. Extremely simple fight. Which is going to, of course, precede me losing someone. I really hope I don't get killed by four filthy morsels. Or four lost souls, I mean. Let's go for... Oh, he doesn't have his rampart. Damn. I think I'm actually just going to do that. This being a time fight. I think I'd rather... Steady yourself. Get the primary damage dealers back up in their proper positions. Before worrying about anything else. Saw to do it. Oh, right, the cholera. God damn, that's going to be so difficult to deal with. Let's get a defend up. What's the main idea of a cultist? Very similar to how it was in the first game. He's, he's a less effective healer, but is a healer. At the moment, I'm kind of considering him primarily as a... Um, a support offense unit like he's not the primary damage dealer but he's doing some good damage and he can do a lot of stuff that helps the others deal damage so in crisis in that role he's pretty damn good it turns out but as a primary healer for the squad he's a little bit less reliable which is kind of why we've done this this time and it seems to be working pretty well I want to try to kill this guy now too. There we go. One less obstacle in our path. <laughs> that's, that's a reasonable mistake, Dahlia. A cultist, a cultist. It's yeah, I, I hear it. Picks up that blight. Welcome relief from caustic agony. There's the cholera effect immediately present. Oh. 
his stress is piling up real quick. That is an unfortunate part of fighting four of these dudes. This is, this is like guaranteed six to eight stress accrued. Especially when the Hellion X last guaranteed. Pretty goddamn annoying it turns out actually to deal with guys who have a guaranteed one stress per hit. Kind of blows. Well, at least they spread it out a little bit. And we get to kill this guy. Suffering hey, there we go. The bond. Ounce, not there. Oh well. Get to heal. Might get a bolster off at the end, but I'm kind of doubting it considering we're about to kill him. I don't know why I thought a wicked hack would do it. Nah, dude, please. God, no. This is... It's far too much stress accrued in this fight, man, honestly. It's just far too fucking much. One more ounce, please. Thank you. Cooperation is the key. That at least. And hey, there we go. We got the 50% to trigger my way, too. I suppose I can't complain too much. There we go. Not too bad. Oh, come on. You're almost friends. You're so stressed. By confronting the past, God damn it. We learn to face the future. Well, we're throwing those linens out for sure. I don't need that shit. Goodbye. Goodbye. No burn cell for me. All right. More than likely going to be the last thing we do here, although we are fairly... Eh, no, nah, it's going to take too long. I think we're, we're probably going to have to leave this at this hero shrine. Ooh, this is good. Let's go. Best buddies. Nice. Aspiration unites the hopeful. Good shit. That'll help. There's a hospital on the road. Was there? That'll change things. Hold on. First of all, we gotta throw this shit out. Don't need that. Yeah, I thought we I thought we went the other way of the hospital. Alright. Eeny meeny miny mo, catch talking about it, so if you always let them go, eeny meeny miny mo. Alright. That'll work. Chapter three. One eye open. Every night, the men of his regiment would interrupt his fitful convalescence. Mutilated and maimed, the spectral garrison clawed at his bed covers, whispering hateful truths in his ears. The exhausted attendants in the field hospital would wake to the sound of panicked screaming and inglorious sobs. It was not the war that had taken his eye. It was pride. Okay. Ah, yes. Excellent. Oh, very good. Very, very good. Retribution. Gotta use retribution, baby. In place of the bellow, absolutely. There we go. Nice. Nice. Taunt and repose, hell yeah. There is a field hospital, nice! And yeah, I'm not surprised you're wanting to go there, buddy. All right. We've totally got the relics for this. Muy bueno. I suppose the implication there is the dude clawed out his own eye, yeah. Oh, hi! We tread beyond the realms of reason. Okay. Sure. We might as well, right? Hey, here we go. 
just scream at it. It's actually what retribution is now. He just he winds up and he goes, Wah! and it's already working. Okay. How's your blight resistance? Not great. Caltrip seems good. Weaken them, that another may finish the work. Cool. Um. All oh, right. Yeah, that's just gonna hit him. It might be okay. Actually, yeah, his blight resistance is pretty low, and I got the blight, boosted blight chance, so seems good. Why did the shambler cross the road? Apparently to kill us. Iron Swan, absolutely. Alright, let's see. I Defender. I Defender Retribution, maybe like the rest of the fight, actually. That might be the play. Because that's going to be pretty goddamn effective. I might have to Stress Heal too, though, unfortunately. 20% crit chance. Also, seven damage is pretty good. Oh boy. Steady yourself. Hmm. I do think I should keep doing this. Little by little bit, man, we're gonna make it happen. Nice. Okay. Sure. Bits for crits. Let's see it. The wind up. The pitch. Ah. And the resistance. Ah. It's like the total opposite. Crap. Get him. All right. You were just. You were. Okay. Queuing it up for the repost. That's honestly probably better. So I appreciate it. Stress heal too. Wow. Nice. Good stuff. Vulnerability hex again? Probably not a bad idea. Worst case scenario, I get an iron swan hit out of that, and that's still pretty good. Oh, and the retribution actually triggers it. Okay. Fine with me. Oh, that's going to be a meltdown, unfortunately. Shit. Bomber, dude. Cooperation is the key. Well, let's do that. If it bleeds, although, hold on, that's no. I'm better off here. Sadly, the blight's going away, but ooh, I might be able to get it again. This will be big. This will be real big. Nice. Okay. Huge. He's weak. He's real low. Hey, there we go. Great block plus trigger there. Now we got to take a gamble here. Hit it. All right. Not bad. He's in trouble. I might have to defend her that. Almost certainly, actually. The slow suffering begins. Hmm. Healing salve, yeah. So much DOT there. Actually, I think the Plague Doctor is going to have to fix that, which means let's do this. Really want to get him on death's door ASAP. Do I retribution again, though? I think I might. I think I do. Mostly because I want to try to keep everybody alive, and he's obviously the most survivable of the bunch. The key. She's still guarded twice. Alright. Alright. That is... That's enough there. Nice. That's helped. Or that helps a lot. Let's do... Yeah. Gotta start getting those death door triggers to go. Truly an inspiration. Very nice. One more 
post. Excellent. Wish that cleared the block, but oh well. Oh, he, he adds a block, doesn't he? Yeah, that's what's going on. I think I need to heal, actually. No, I'm probably fine. Another death store trigger is probably worth it. Let's fucking go! Wow. We've done it. Another Shambler kill. Very good. You better give me something cool for this, man. Damn random Shambler fight. You gotta give me a fun reward. Do, 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 do. Might as well heal up a little bit. Oh. Well, no, that'll work out. And I need to probably not let you get another hit off. So let's do that. Okay, bye. Sweet! We did it! Amidst the spoils, an artifact of unparalleled power. Oh, damn. That's pretty good. Cool. Okay. Not bad. Pretty decent trinket. Pretty decent stuff. All right, we got to wrap up here. So we're going to hit this field hospital and then put this run here on pause. So let's go take care of this real fast. Let's just d dump these two bread uh, and then get rid of that. Sure. Yeah. All right. Cool. Put it on pause. Yep, yep, yep. You know it. All right. She weeps for the fall. So we'll have to remember to clear the cholera soon enough. at the start of the next broadcast. But uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, slash marker right there. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. A fun day of Darkest Dungeon 2. I would clear it now, but it would just make me do it again once I reload it, so there's no point. Great times in Darkest Dungeon 2 today. Really appreciate everybody's support. It's been so much fun playing this game. Catch the VODs over on YouTube.com slash BearTaffy if you missed any part of them as well. And uh, come on back tomorrow morning. We're streaming every day, just about every day, besides Sundays here at 9 a.m. Pacific on Twitch.tv slash BearTaffy.